guys, today we got another brand new Airbnb to show you guys, and this one is totally different than anything I've shown you guys on this channel, so I'm pretty excited to show you. I'm here to show you all the unique Airbnbs around that I can find, and I think this one is very unique in its own way. So this one is located right next to the Grand Canyon. It's about an hour-ish outside of Flagstaff, up north of that towards the Grand Canyon. Uh, if you wanted to go there, it's about a 30-ish minute drive, so that's really why everybody comes here sadly the Grand Canyon was closed while I'm here literally the one time in history the Grand Canyon is closed yes this is located in Arizona if you want to check out this place for yourself the link is down below there's also a link to save $40 on your first Airbnb stay anywhere around the world so go check that out as well anyway let's just jump right into this tour this place is very very secluded first of all you drive up towards the Grand Canyon you can look off to the left and right of the roads and there's really not much of anything around you. you. The roads turn to dirt roads once you get closer towards your Airbnb and once you get here you notice that you're secluded basically in the middle of nowhere. This is a private getaway. There's not much around. There's a couple of other Airbnbs on this property that's really peaceful and private. If you like the desert life or have never experienced it, I highly suggest this because it's just something totally interesting and new. So you pull up and this Airbnb is a Mongolian style yurt. You'll notice it has a huge front deck right here. This is probably one of the largest decks I've ever seen. And it has a couple chairs right here. There's also a fire pit over there on the side and other than that you got your Mongolian yurt so on the outside so if you don't know what a yurt is the best way I can explain it is just like circular tent with framing on the inside it's not a dome it's not like a teepee or a camping tent it's a little bit I would say better than that so on the outside you can just see the canvas all around it and it's really really large uh, it is round you can see there's windows out here if you go up to one of these windows you can unstrap this canvas piece and you can close the windows essentially uh, in this clip you can clearly see that I got water all over me so be aware for that but if we continue to see that the foundation of this yurt is kind of just elevated off and they built a deck and they just put the yurt on that so it's not on the ground it's not anything I don't think super sophisticated here's some shots to the inside of the home you walk up this door and you walk right inside and you're greeted to your Airbnb this year is huge as you can see it's all open on the inside absolutely massive it looks way smaller on the outside than what it actually is but it's a very large Airbnb you can sleep six people as you can see there's beds all around and I guess we'll just start over here on the left side if your first bed right here there's some chairs right here next to it if you need some extra seating if you want to take it outside or anything like that and I really like the style of all of this stuff it's a bohemian style. They got this wood that goes all the way around and with the vines intermingled with it and they got the lights that go all the way around as well and it's really nice vibe in here. I was very impressed with it. It's This is one of my favorite styles for homes and it's really nice and cozy and it doesn't feel like a tent at all. So if you continue from that bed, you go on and you got this huge chest or case that has blankets in it, but above it, you have lanterns and they provide you some stuff you might need for your stay. And they got books and games over here. They got shelves and decorations and all through that. And then you got your next bed right here, which has the towels and everything you need for that as well. There's a window right behind it. There's windows behind all these beds, which is really nice. And if we just continue on from that, you got your rack that has your hangers and you can put your bags here. And this is just an area to kind of store your stuff. If you need to store your stuff even more, you can just put everything under the beds as well. Also over here is a first aid kit, some tools, I guess, and they have a propane heater right here. Now here's the thing about this Airbnb, there's no AC or heating really there is heating but not electrical or gas heating except this portable propane heater and there's a furnace on the other side but we'll get to that later so there's no AC keep that in mind you are in the desert it does get cold at night but kind of hot during the day so I mean it kind of evens out it's not like I've been staying here for a couple days and Honestly, it's really not as bad as what I was thinking it would be. Anyway, continuing from that, you got the back door right here, which just leads right outside. And then you got your other last bed right here. They're all basically the same. They have the same style. The decor is really nice. And right next to that, you have your seating lounge area. This place is really neat. 
uh, it's kind of on the ground basically. I'm guessing that's with the Mongolian style or it might be mixed with the Bohemian style that this place is going for. I don't know, but I thought it was really cool. It's really comfortable. And if you need to eat or anything like that, this is the place, loungy place to do that at. Super cool. I liked it a lot. It fits in with the home 100%. And then you reach your kitchen area. Now, I wouldn't consider it a kitchen necessarily, but they have your stuff that a kitchen would typically have. You have all your dishes over here and they have cookware as well. They have a propane stove top right here to cook anything you would need. And they also have a little mini fridge right here as well for you. And that's basically all you necessarily need for a kitchen, I would say. And then right next to that, you got your wood, and then the wood goes into the stove right here, this cast iron stove or furnace, whatever you want to call it. And this is another way to really heat up the home, especially in the colder days, like in the winter. And you can just use this, and it works perfectly. And the exhaust just goes right outside like this. Here's a shot of what it looks like on the outside. And then in the middle is really open. They have some rugs. The floor is wooden. It's really nice. They have this wire right here with the vines that lead all the way up to the top. And you might notice that there's a big dome right in the middle that lets in light. It's good for looking at the stars or lighting in light, and it's just really cool. And this whole area is just really open. Here's a shot of me walking around to just show you how big it is. This is a massive here. place is off the grid so you might be wondering about the electricity and the bathroom situation well this place is solar powered they have solar panels out here in the back and they just have a couple outlets on the inside that run the lights and the refrigerator and anything you might need to charge or plug in so that is really neat and there's no AC or heating that is electrical in here so that's not being run off the power uh, you won't run out of power in here I can't imagine what you would bring that would run out of power. Maybe something that requires an electrical heater, maybe you'd run out of power, but I don't suggest bringing that. So I don't think you'd run out of power if you're staying here. I haven't yet and I'm charging a lot of gear. Now the bathroom is located outside. On the right side is your shower. It is heated. They just have this huge tank right behind it full of water and you just turn it on and the water is hot and it's just basically an outside shower. That's all this is. And then on the left side is your toilet. Outside of that, you have an outdoor sink, which is is kind of neat like I said glamping to a T is what this place is if you're coming out here for the Grand Canyon to camp or northern Arizona or anything like that this is what this is 100% off the grid I think that is super neat and cool and something to experience for sure I have perfect service out here so it's not like I'm totally disconnected from the world I'm not sure how I have service I'm feel like I'm in the middle of nowhere <laughs> But yeah, this is your Mongolian yurt Airbnb unit. It is glamping for sure. And if you want to come to the Grand Canyon, come stay here. It is really neat. It's a really nice experience. There's no noise or light pollution in this area. I could hear myself and Steven from like 100 or 150 feet away without even raising our voices. It's really crazy. So this place is definitely a wonderful place to experience. I enjoyed it a lot. There's other properties on this unit as well. Go check those out. I'll have videos on those as well. If not, I've already posted them, so go check those out. But yeah, if you're new here, subscribe to the channel, like this video, and comment what your favorite part was. My favorite part of this is probably the entire really inside and how they decorated the inside with the bohemian style i like that a lot and it's really roomy and also the framing of this here it really blends in with the decor and style of this home as well the wood that leads all up to the dome in the middle just really blends in nicely with the bohemian style and the wood they added all around it and just the vines and everything it's just really neat architecturally if you're into that and just really something cool to look at and be a part of and it just felt very comfortable and nice thank you guys for watching this video if you have an airbnb that you want me to come check out shoot me a message down below and maybe we can work something out so thank you guys so much for watching this video and i will see you guys next week oh, oh. Oh, no. <laughs> i wonder how long the water's been there we're in the desert we're in the desert. <laughs>